I love when coaches, consultants, and professional service providers want to do big things in their business. They want to rise to the top and influence their market and the world around them. They want to have a greater impact and make a more lucrative income. Well, if this is you, welcome to Expert in You Podcast, the show where I interview other experts and coaches, consultants, so that they can share their success strategies with you. We're going to talk about marketing and how to close more sales, how to get more premium clients, and how to really build your visibility in the market and scale your business like a boss. If this is you, welcome to the show. I want to ask ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell right now so you don't miss one episode. Grab your coffee and buckle up because we are ready to give it all to you to help you become the expert and get paid as the expert that you are. Hi everyone, it's Ann Carden here and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Expert in You podcast. I am excited today for my guest, Melinda Van Fleet, welcome to my show. Hi, Anne. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. This is going to be fun. Thank you. It is going to be fun, and she's going to give massive value. She's got loads of experience. I can't wait to jump in with her. Um, so first of all, Melinda is a life and business mentor, so you know it's going to be a great show. And she has so much experience and so much background, and I'm going to let her share her story. But Melinda, I'm just super excited to have you here. So thanks for being on with me. Awesome. Thanks again for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yes, I am a life and business mentor. I've been through all the gyrations of redoing my title. <laughs> what <did I> say? <laughs> Confidence and peak performance coach, sales coach, um, you know, just life coach, success and mindset coach. I think I've done all the gyrations and I've come to a place in building my confidence about how I can help others and just calling myself a life and business mentor. And then just what someone feels they need and how they wish to work with me if they choose to work with me is how I can best help others. And yeah, keeping it simple. (laughs) That sounds great. Well, why don't you just tell everyone, Melinda, how you kind of got to the place where you are right now, mentoring and coaching other people. Um, I know you just have a lot, again, a lot of experience that has brought you to this fight. So why don't you share a little bit of your story? Awesome. Thank you. So I started out in the corporate world as a merchant, aka buyer for very large retailers, such as Victoria's Secret, Target, Saks Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. And my last retail job in the corporate world was with Shop NBC, which is the third largest retailer. At the same time that I was working with that retailer, I met my husband, Ryan. And my husband, who is the sweetest, nicest guy in the whole world, suffers from anxiety and depression. And intuitively, because granted, this was before the internet, this was before YouTube, this was before all those things. I ended up just really helping him by doing a lot of visualization. Mm -hmm. So we actually would lay on the bed, clothed, nothing, no TMI here. (laughs) I wasn't going there in my mind. I was not. Thank you. Just in case someone else was. And I would play the sound machine play the ocean sounds. And my husband has always been obsessed with fishing. And we would go to the lakes and the rivers up in Minneapolis and fish on the weekends. He would be down at the Mississippi River at night. And so I came to realize that fishing really helped his mental state. It helped his anxiety and his depression. So we would lay on the bed and we would just visualize and talk about you know, someday when we can move somewhere where he can fish all the time, Mm -hmm. somewhere it never, ever snowed and we had green grass and we could have two little dogs. Well, we have three now. We, um, you know, we just visualized it and I would talk him through it and get him through the depression. Well, what ended up happening was 2009 came along and I'm sure you remember 2008, 2009. Oh yes. I was in business. (laughs) Yes. So I ended up getting laid off first in January. And then my husband ended up getting laid off in June. So we both got laid off at the exact same time. We had only been together for about two years, really. It was a little bit under, a little bit over two years, two years and a couple months. And I swear I ended up manifesting us getting laid off because I was like, what if we just lost our jobs? What if, you know, we ended up moving to Florida? Like, yeah, it all like, what you well, wish for. exactly. That is so true. 
So what ended up happening is that my husband lost his job and we ended up taking a little vacation, even though we didn't have any money and we left it out there to the universe and just was like, what if we just moved? So with a little encouragement from my best friend and my mom, they were like, you're both really hard workers. Why don't you just move to Florida? And so we did. We sold every little thing that we could just to get some money because we didn't have any money. And we ended up coming down here to the Keys. It'll be 13 years. And when we came down here, it was not a fun experience. It was very, very challenging. We've been through a lot of challenges, not only as a couple, but also in like starting over from scratch with nothing. So I always say we moved down here not knowing anyone, no jobs, hardly any money. We never even been here, but somehow we've made it and we've figured it out. And not every day is sunshine and rainbows, but we're living our best lives. And I said back then in 2009, that someday when we get our quote unquote shit together, we would help others. So what ended up happening is through a lot more story that I will spare your audience with, because we'll be here for hours. We did start an extremely successful charter boat business called Good Karma Sport Fishing. And now it has grown. We have a huge audience. We have courses a mastermind. My husband's booked every day. And it's really amazing, like how we just kind of built this and transpired it in a really challenging economy and really worked on a lot of mindset Mm -hmm. and a lot of self-belief and not listening to other people. Like we stayed our course and Mm -hmm. had our vision and just kept going. And at the same time that we were building the sport fishing business, I built a multi-million dollar sales business traveling all around Florida, all by myself in my car. Mm -hmm. And again, always thinking someday when we get our shit together, we will help others. So about three years ago, I decided to get certified as a life coach with WCI Mm -hmm. and started the journey of building a coaching, speaking and writing business. So last year I self-published two best-selling books. Mm -hmm. And in August of 2021, I finally quit all my sales things, which was very scary. (laughs) And now I I love what I'm doing now. So I really just help women believe in themselves and take action. Mm -hmm. And I'm always excited to work with entrepreneurs, especially if they're going through life changes and life challenges, or if they're trying to build a business to, um, you know, figure it out. Everything is figure outable. You can always figure something out. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes you just need a little help and a cheerleader along the way. So, right. Yeah. What a story. How amazing and, and how resilient you are. I love it. Uh, so many people give up, right? And you you both did not give up and look at where that brought you. So first of all, um, I'm very interested in hearing more about your charter fishing business. We'll talk about that because I might have a referral for you. Um, Thank you. Yes. So we'll talk about that after we finish the recording. But I think that's very cool. And then I think it's it's really uh, great the way you you brought that into the coaching and the mentor space and and who you're working with now. So how do you? Uh, this is kind of a technical question. Uh, how do you get your your clients right now? Do you get them online? Do you get them offline? Because we have a lot of coaches and consultants and entrepreneurs that listen to this show. So how are you currently getting your clients? You know, it's actually a really great mix. Mm -hmm. So online, um, I have a podcast. I've gotten better at social media posting. That has been a huge confidence journey and something Mm -hmm. I can also help someone with. Lots of working through mindset and triggers and different things online. Because actually, as a sales rep, I didn't need to be online. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a narcissistic waste of time to be really honest. So as all these people were like (laughs) online and building their business and doing their thing, I was like, don't take a picture of me. Don't tag me. And I really had to like work through a lot of that work through being able to be on video, um, work through like creating posts and all that stuff. So social media is definitely a big piece of it. Mm -hmm. Also, I am a sales coach as a 1099 with Mm -hmm. Southwestern consulting. So that's another piece of it. So some piece comes from there. And if someone is aligned with that program, that's an amazing program. So that's something fun. I do as a sales coach. Like I said, I like to help people where they need to be helped. Mm -hmm. And then the other piece is 
I believe in meeting people face to face. Mm -hmm. So that is something that last year I realized in the summer, so summer of 2021, that I was spending too much time on Zoom in these big, large networking groups. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like I was lost. Mm -hmm. So I would be on a call with like 200 other women and everyone was really nice. I mean, that was all really good, but I was just like a sea in a sea of people. Right. So last summer, I just really was like, when things started to open up, I was like, you know, I'm going to get out there. Mm -hmm. So I joined our local group in the keys called BPW. And if Mm -hmm. you follow me, you'll, you'll see, I I post a lot about these networking events that I go to. Mm -hmm. And then in November, I joined a women's group that's national called NABO. Mm -hmm. And that is based in South Florida. So more like the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. So Mm -hmm. just two hours North. And once a month I drive up there for those networking meetings. Mm -hmm. And everyone's always like, Oh my gosh, you drove that far. And I'm like, well, first of all, I was a sales rep for 12 years and lived in my car. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> right. So not a big, no deal. big deal, right? <laughs> and then if you're an entrepreneur at home, you know that for the most part, you can basically like what work in your PJs and you yes. do your hair and, and makeup. And it can get lonely. It, and it's especially lonely. Especially if you're not doing things like this. I, I do feel like this really helps, you know, to podcast and, and talk to people like you and meet great people. But yes, it can get lonely. It can get really lonely. And and I think that people did become like over zoomed. Would you agree? Like there's yes, a lot. I think, I think so. Now for me, it works with my lifestyle. I'm all about teaching people they can work from anywhere in the world and freedom and all of that. I love that. Yes. Um, yeah. And so that's my business model. And that's what I also teach people. So for me, it works. I'm good with it. I did all the networking, all that. Now I do go out and speak. And so that's always great because it gets me out in front of people. But for the most part, the networking, I'm done with all of that. Everything I do is mostly online. So it's online. Perfect. Perfect. And that's what's so great about the world with 7.9 billion people is that there's so many like opportunities (laughs) and ways to meet people. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so NABO has been great for me. And then I just recently joined two chambers that are outside of the Keys. So Mm -hmm. one in Coral Gables in Miami and one in Miramar, Pembroke Pines. And that's like a ginormous Mm -hmm. chamber just to meet like a a different group of people Mm -hmm. and um, just, just expand my sphere. And I just really believe and based on the evidence that I have in my life, as many people do, is I just follow breadcrumbs. Like, like, let me see what this turns out to be like. Let Mm -hmm. me see what this connection turns out to be like. And if you do that with an open heart and, you know, just an attitude of fun and curiosity, like it's really amazing what you end up having happen to you. So, right. right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I love it. So no, I, and you know, like I said, I networked for years and I did it not only in my coaching and consulting, but I did it with many of my businesses that that was one of the ways that I built my businesses was networking and speaking. And actually those were the ways I built my businesses for the most part. And so, you know, a lot of people I know were very excited to get back out there and network again when, you know, the COVID thing kind of, you know, was over. It's not completely over, but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Depending on where you live, I guess. Um, so I love that. So there's a couple of things that you really talk about or that you really uh, dive deep into, and that's really the whole confidence factor. So do you want to hit on that just a little bit and kind of what you do in that space? Yeah, sure. I love talking about confidence because quite frankly, I really believe it's an evolution and journey in your life. And I would really challenge someone to say, if they were like, well, I'm completely confident. I'm like, okay, you know, there's millions and millions of things and situations and people Mm -hmm. that, you know, come across our past and things that happen to us. And every day, if you just be present and think about it, it's like, okay, was I a hundred percent confident in that? Or could Mm -hmm. I have done a little better? Right. Or um, what did I learn from that? What can I take away? Mm -hmm. And I've just really come to embrace letting go of feeling that everything has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I was definitely, I struggled with that as a speaker. I thought that every talk I gave was going to be so perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I'd end up being like, oh, that didn't go so well, right? Because as you know, as a speaker, not everything is in your control, right? right? So all those little bits 
you know, those will help you build your confidence over time. Mm -hmm. And just really embracing that and understanding that I think is just a way to um, live in a more peaceful, balanced way that brings you happiness and joy versus trying to be perfect and trying to reach for something that, again, I don't, I don't think everyone, if they really sat with it, would, would really own up to the fact, really say Mm -hmm. that they're a hundred percent confident in every situation. It's just always an evolution and journey to, um, you know, get better at different things in your life that you choose to work on. No, I totally agree. And I think there are a lot of different situations where if it's new, you may not be completely confident. If if you are in a new atmosphere or with all new people, uh, your confidence isn't where it would typically be, where maybe you're the leader. Now you're in the room. That's different, right? So there are a lot of different situations. I also think that it's interesting we're talking about this because also I think in the online world, it's very easy to compare to other people Mm -hmm. and see what other people are doing. The thing is you really don't know where people really are and you don't know what their journey is. And so all of that, if you don't learn how to get beyond that and have confidence in what you know and what you're able to do and how you're able to show up and step up and do your thing the way you do it, if you let those things get into your head, you will stop yourself in your tracks. And I know it's a big problem in the online space, but I know, I know it's offline too, but I really see it in the online space, which is one of the reasons why I really wanted to talk about it. Um, And I don't know that I've really dug into the confidence piece so much with someone on a podcast. So this is, this is great stuff. I think it's going to be helpful for people. You cannot compare yourself to other people and you can't look at where they are. You can be inspired by them. You can learn from them but don't compare yourself. That is a dead end road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually had something today. I I can share if, if that sounds um, okay with you. Absolutely. The floor is yours. This is all about you. Well, it's just hopefully will inspire someone if they get in the same situation. Right. So yesterday I created a post it's on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram about who cares? I actually said, who the F cares? And that's actually a chapter in my book, Confidence Mastery for Couples. And the post was was about that, not caring so much, right? So along the lines of confidence. So this morning, uh, as I mentioned, I live in the Keys and one of the beautiful plants that becomes trees down here is called a frangipani. Have you ever heard of it? No. It's actually like plumer. It's plumeria so it's a fragrant flower it's beautiful and makes perfume and one of my friends actually gave me a little stock and I think she gave me the stock like during COVID um and I planted it and it's so it's been a few years and I have not seen any flowers or any blooms yet but every you know I'm always watering it giving it love well this morning I saw that there's actually some blooms coming So I got super excited and I ran outside with my camera and I recorded this little video and I'm like, okay, I'm going to post this video. So I go to post the video and the thumbnail of the video was me making some crazy like face. (laughs) Don't you love when that happens? Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, oh no. So what happens right now? I just created a post yesterday about this, right? Okay. Right. And I'm like, I can't post this. I look ugly. Like this is like wonky. My hair was all wonky. It's probably going to get more attention, Melinda. (laughs) Well, I truly was like, okay, the universe is testing me on my own words, right? I need to walk the walk. (laughs) And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to post this ugly ass, you know, thumbnail video, but the message is good. It was about planting seeds. And if you're an entrepreneur, like, you know, Uh letting them grow, giving them love. It might take a couple of years was the message. And so I posted it and I was like, and I even put the first sentence was the universe is testing me by doing this post. So I did it. I hit post or whatever it is on Facebook. And what ended up happening was it went back to what it was originally. It was me first taking a picture of the flower Uh and then it becomes my face. So anyhow, but the universe tested me. They're like, okay, are you going to, are you going to do this? Are you, are you going to put your ugly ass picture? (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, okay, passed. And then they gave my video. So I was going to say, yeah, I probably got, would have got more attention the other way. 
<laughs> to and I've thought of that before too, but then I'm like, okay, I'm just doing this for love. Yeah. And like whatever happens, you know, happens. I, that, that's such a good point too. I mean, when you're showing up and you're just offering value, if the people that have a problem with you offer it, like I always love when people go, you have a typo. You had, you know, like they're pointing out any mistakes and I'm like, okay, you know, thanks so much. But I always think to myself, really, like, that's what you got out of that brilliant post. <laughs> <laughs> because we people can get so wrapped up in things that they miss the whole, the whole point or the whole big picture, or they even miss the opportunity to learn or to grow because they get so wrapped up in things that are really insignificant. Is it that I'm illiterate? No. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. Sometimes Grammarly is not even kind, right? Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I think it's it's important that you don't let those things shake you and you don't let them uh, affect you. And so con- you're right. Confidence is a huge factor in that. And just, you know, do we want to be liked by everybody? Of course we do, but that's not the reality. That's not the real world, right? And we always say too, you know, when you have a lot of hate, if you don't have any haters, you're not doing much. So, oh, that's a big one in my household. My husband has had to do so much work around that because he has yeah. a lot of haters. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's it's tough for some people. I think it's great. Like, you know, I get it. I get what the, you know, big influencers say, it's similar to what you just said, yeah. but not everyone can. Some people really struggle yeah. with, you know, not being liked by everyone. So yeah. And yeah, I, I think it. I think it is. It, it's definitely a skill set or a mindset that we have to learn today. That maybe, you know, building a lot of businesses through the years. I, I mean, I guess that was always a thing. Obviously, with customers, you know, if they got upset or clients that got upset. But I don't think it was so in our face like it is today. And today, everything can be pointed out to us that we that we do wrong and everything's videoed and everything is out there forever. And if you really, if you don't learn how to get past that, does it affect you? Yeah. I mean, for a moment, for a moment, you know, but if you let it go beyond that, I think uh, you're really just selling yourself short and you're hurting your own confidence and, Mm -hmm. and really again, how you can show up and add value. So um, Yeah. 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 And speaking of what you said earlier, which I think is kind of, I'm going to call it an epidemic out there, Mm -hmm. is the amount of people that, um, you know, you talked about critiquing your post and them not getting the value out of what you were sharing, right? Mm -hmm. But the amount of people that aren't even like embodying or listening or really, you know, taking in and Mm -hmm. they're just consuming to consume. And right. I think that is, is such an epidemic. Like I really hope that when people watch your podcast or they watch this podcast, they, they truly like take something away. Mm-hmm. Sure. And like, go, oh, God, that really spoke to me. I get it. And I'm right. going to work on that. Right. Yeah. And you know, it is unfortunate with, um, we're so blessed to have so much content, right. Mm-hmm. And so many tools that did not exist years ago. I mean, I'm 51. They certainly didn't exist when I was starting in in the, in the world. And we're, we're just so lucky. And, um, but unfortunately then it creates this whole cycle of, of not even like really listening and being present to what someone else is sharing. So and very distracted. Mm-hmm. People very are very distracted. distracted. Well, it, it's kind of like, you know, I run virtual events, you run virtual events and people that just say they're going to come to virtual events and then they don't come or they come and their camera's not on or they're in their car or they're, you know, you can hear them typing away on their computer and it's not likely that they're typing notes, right? It's, you can, you can hear other things going on. You can, or you can hear them talking on the phone. Those kinds of things are really uh, detrimental to people, to their success. If they don't really learn how to kind of streamline things. And like you said, just really be present, pay attention, you know, give things the time that they deserve. And if it's not for you, then bounce or get off or whatever. I don't think that you, I really just don't think that you, you help yourself and it doesn't, um, it doesn't build a good presence either. Mm -hmm. I, I think when you are that kind of a person, um, and you're missing out on growth, you're missing out on true growth, in my opinion, true growth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, and and you're right. And that true growth is really what people need to 
like think about like yes. am I really like where was I last year mm-hmm. who am I following who's my coach or you know what are you doing yes. and how have you evolved right. in this past year it's 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 really great to take you know inventory I guess you could say on your growth and think about it I, so I, I think agree. that's sometimes even more important than someone writing down a bunch of goals like oh I got this goal it's like okay no, like what are you doing like how are you being and how are you like consuming yeah. to really move forward in your life? That's the solution. Yeah. One of my, uh, the, my mentor that I work with, uh, one of my favorite sayings that he has said is when you're in events or things like that, he says, if you're not fully in, if you're not paying attention, he says, some things are taught and other things are caught. And he said, it's typically in the caught that is the million dollar catch right? Or that's the goal. That's the nugget. It's not the things that were necessarily taught. And I thought, I love that because that's so brilliant. And that's exactly right. People are, they, they're they so close-minded, like, well, I already know that. I've already heard that. But that's not the same as executing. That's not the same as implementing. That's not the same as knowing how to implement, especially in business, but even in life. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Important points. I like that. Um, yeah. And I love yeah. that phrase. That's genius because yes. it's so true. Yeah. Yes. It's great. And love it. Yeah. It's definitely fitting. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, so Good. a couple things too, that you talk about is that you help people, like if they're really wanting to branch out, um, you kind of brought that point up. So you want to just elaborate on that just a little bit? Yeah, there's a lot to it, but I, definitely um, have worked through a lot with in terms of like having a very successful career, Mm -hmm. but my heart and my bigger vision is somewhere else. So working on things as a side hustle, Mm -hmm. like there's a lot of like mindset around that. There's a lot of triggers. There's a lot of like, okay, how do I take the action, but not lose my job? Mm -hmm. So I've, I've been there with that. And that's like a huge piece of it. And then also, you know, like, obviously there's the money piece that goes into that. Right. And that's the real fear of, you know, well, what if I end up living in a box? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And being that I'm on my third life and I've, been fired. I've been laid off. Um, we've started over with nothing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes, um, my husband may say something and I'm like, we have to remember, like, we're still here. Like we, we still figured it out. Like it, it happened. Like even last night, like when my, like I said, we have courses, um, more courses with my husband's business and my business, which will be evolving. But with that, but you know, someone bought a course last night. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So things end up like working out Mm -hmm. for you. You Just really have faith. You believe and you're taking the right action. Like you're taking the action that feels good. Then all those things really help build your confidence, right? They're confidence building tools to get you to where you're really trying to go in life. I mean, there's so many people, I mean, this is written about all the time that are just miserable in their jobs. They feel stuck, right? I mean, it's not even a new concept, but it's definitely catapulted and, you know, stuck in their lives. Opportunities today. I mean, we've never had the opportunities before that we have today that if you don't like your job or you, you, we've never had the opportunities to just hop online and create another business. I mean, seriously. Um, So for people to not even start a side hustle or to not do that in the hopes that they'll get out of that situation doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, Yeah. yeah, And I know you coach on that too, like really helping people like expand their business and their growth. And, and you touched on comparison and that was, you know, that was a huge thing for me when I first started. Like I thought that everyone wanted to be the exact same type of coach that I wanted to be. Like what? Now I'm in like mastermind groups and every single coach has like a different, you know, right. thing to teach. Different different. <laughs> yes. I, and I have tons of coaches. Like what? Like, why do we do that to ourselves? I just don't even like, now I'm like, it's mind blowing, but 
Um, I believe that that is just another thing that, you know, keeps people stuck if they are looking to, you know, grow in their life or career, start a business, become an entrepreneur. Um, you know, when we moved down here, uh, I mean, this we were sh- like constantly being told we wouldn't make it because we're in the sport fishing capital of the world and we were in our mid thirties and my husband never fished on the blue water. Like, who are we? Like, you're never going to make it. Like we've been through it all. And now he's like one of the greats. He's one of the, he was on the cover of, you know, Florida sportsman in 2018. Like, that's cool. Like you can do it. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of mindset work. Believing yourself and taking action, which is what I hope. Perfect. That sounds like a great way to wrap up the show. Too. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of I great timing. Love it. <laughs> yes, yes. What a great, what, what a great way to bring it all together. So this has been amazing, Melinda. Thank you so much you. for sharing, and hopefully, people will get a lot of value from this show and from the things that we talked about. So I love it. You do have a giveaway that you would like to offer to my audience. So go ahead and share that. Yeah. And I'm on pretty much every platform. So even just to simplify it, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, mm-hmm. and my website, it, my name, melindavanfleet.com. Mm-hmm. And on the top, you'll see it's five ways to grow your business. Um, feel free to connect with me. I have a private Facebook group called Beyond Basic that I just resurrected, mm-hmm. which is a whole part of my confidence journey that <laughs> I share online. <laughs> So yeah, lots of ways to connect with me, but that free tool is out there. And um, yeah, I I would love to um, hear from anyone in the audience. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me. This was super fun. I appreciate it. Yes, it was fun. No, that's perfect. And we will put all of your information with the show notes so people will be able to reach out to you. Uh, Melinda and I actually met on LinkedIn. We did. A lot of my podcast guests come from actually. So uh, yeah, so I know you can find her on LinkedIn and, um, and like she said, she's on multiple platforms and you'll be able to reach out to her, but definitely connect with her. Um, You can see she's so friendly, so open. Open and just such a great, I only have great people on my show. That's just yes. it. Well, I because mean, you're I, great. So that's who you attract. <laughs> well, thank friends. you. I don't know about that, but <laughs> you are. <laughs> thank yes. you. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I, I knew she would add a lot of value. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about the topic that we talked about today. So thank you. Thank you for being here. And everyone, thank you for being here. And please, if you like this, If you got value from it, then please leave a comment, share it with someone else and uh, let us know that we're bringing you the value and reach out to us and connect with us. And uh, thank you. And until next week, you all have an amazing day. Melinda, thanks. It was so Thank you, Ann. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Bye. If you've enjoyed this episode, I want to invite you to go check out a free training that I have at expertinu.us. It is a training that I have on how you can get ultra premium dream clients, scale your business, get more freedom, and really simplify your business and multiply your money. So go check that out. And again, that is expertinu.us. I want to thank you for being here with me this week. I hope you found massive value. Please always leave a comment, feedback, or a question. We check them all. And I want you to go rock your business and make sure you join us again next week. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.